Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Duke Calloway here from uh, Hampton, West uh, Virginia. We got a show for you tonight. Well, everybody, the big match is going to happen. Christopher against... Corey Creighton for the MSW World title. Remember, if Christopher wins, he gets to be the MSW World Champion, going into Wasteland to defend against Reverend Morbid. But if Christopher loses, one of the stipulations we found out, he won't get a World title shot for 60 days. And also, there is a stipulation of Tracy Torment we heard has now been changed. Instead of her leaving the MSW, Jade says she has something else for her, but she ain't gonna find. She is not gonna find out what it, find out what it is unless Christopher loses. All right, folks, let's start off with Jay Call, our lovely uh, manager in charge here tonight. The youngest of four of uh, children of Joe Masker, the youngest of three of Red Rose. But who knows, maybe she might be a second youngest now because of the war rumors going around. One of these days, I'm going to have to get Max Cruiser here uh, to talk about that. But uh, it's a heck of a car. We also got an eight-man uh, battle royal to decide who's going to get shot at the Universal title at, uh, at Wasteland. And we also got an eight-woman battle royal to decide who's going to get shot at Sarah Perry at Wasteland, which is going to be no easy task. Like I said, remember, fans, if you like us, please subscribe to Vampiro0712 on Twitch. Please also subscribe to Vampiro712 on YouTube if you want to catch some of the uh, programs of uh, some classic episodes. So let's get the ring right now as we see the lovely Jay Cole come into the ring. Ah, and there she is, folks. I think she's all disgusted by this Tracy Torment slash... Hovis uh, situation and I'll tell you what glad to have you here with us tonight we're a couple weeks away from Wasteland, a couple weeks from Friday I should say and let's hear what Jade's got to say let's hope she doesn't get beat up by Tracy and interfered good evening everybody, I'm so happy to be back, thank goodness Tracy did not put a beat down on me I swear to God I would I would uh, shed these clothes, get some wrestling gear, and would love to wrestle her. But right now, I guess Chris is providing me from doing that, so I'm not going to do that right now. But what I did is I changed the stipulation to Tracy. And Tracy, you know what? Good news. You won't have to leave Musty Wrestling if your little boyfriend Christopher loses, or your husband. But here's the better news I think fans will love to see. Christopher loses tonight. Well, wait a minute. Let's go over the stipulations first. If Christopher wins, he gets his wish of being MSW World Champion. And going to defend against Rubber Morbid at, at Wasteland. Our biggest pay-per-view of the season of the year. Now, here's where the fun part comes in at. Christopher loses. Number one will touch that world title for 60 days. He won't be able to, uh, was a conjure in any opportunities to win a world title shot for 60 days. But here's where the thing comes in. Ray fans, if Christopher loses, stipulation number two. Tracy Hovis, or Tracy Torment, whatever the hell you want to call her, will be shaved bald. That's right. Tracy will be shade ball tonight if Christopher loses. So, you know what? There's a lot right for Christopher. I hope you enjoy, fans. Have a good rest of the evening. Are you friggin' kidding me? Wow. I'll tell you what. Tracy will be shade bald if Christopher loses? Wow. Oh, my gosh. I think that's pull I think Christopher might did a number two in his uh neon pink jogging pants, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're gonna start off first with RJ Lucas take on Hardcore Homer. Two returnees here to must see wrestling. RJ, of course, is taking a long absence, but he's back, folks. Ah, Splash Mikey, how you doing tonight? 
Ugh, what's going on? I don't think Daddy's wrestling tonight. I do apologize, man. I mean, every time I do have him on here, you're you're not here, man. I mean, I I do apologize. I'm so sorry. I'll have to put him on the next card. I promise, man. May I might have a card this weekend. Yeah, that's the thing about it. It's like, uh... You're going to be here way more? All right, man. Uh, we'll keep... You all right, uh... I will let them know and let them keep Daddy on the roster. All right, sir. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, if I got room for it, I'll have to find out, man. See what the roster spots are. Oh man, he is tra oh man, so daddy's gone, so you you so he's really, so your new client's gonna be replacing him. All right folks. RJ Lucas coming down the ring. Returnee here, it's like last time uh fans were cheering him. He was trying to make up friends with Chad's foreman and I think he did that and uh well we are uh gonna see RJ Lucas in action against uh one of the former baseball furies, Hardcore Homer, a.k.a. Homer Schmidt. He is a surprise. Gotcha. All right, man. All right, Miss. All right, Splash. Good to hear that. Must see Rustin always looking for, uh, they're always looking to mix up the talent pool here. No doubt about it. I admit that much. Great to hear that. And there is RJ. Getting ready for action here. We're going to see if what he can do against Hardcore Homer. And there is coming out with that bat. I wonder if he's going to use it. Uh, Homer must not forget that this is not a uh, Hardcore Rules match. This is a uh, regular match, and I hope he I hope he remembers that. I hope he just leaves that stick of lumber at ringside. All right, just got done talking to Splash Mikey, who is now the former agent for Daddy, and now the agent for a new surprise coming soon. Hopefully he gets, uh, yeah, hopefully he'll get the uh, information on Musty Rustlin about that, uh, our, uh, our secret uh, department, that's all I call it. The one that even the offices of Musty Rustlin doesn't know about. That's what we call it, the secret, compart secret compartment department. He is going to be my leader, huh? Okay, uh, well, well, uh, we'll have to check and see. Uh, that would be interesting if that does happen. Hey, I'm not going to doubt you one bit. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to doubt you one bit. I'm just a broadcaster here. Once he joins, it's over. Gotcha. Uh oh. Those are some bold words there from the from Splash Mikey, the agent of this mystery guy. And we got oh, and RJ. What a beautiful bar varsity takedown. And RJ stepping on the feet, wow. Oh, beautiful gut wrench. Shades of DB Austin and the Iron Sheik right there, man. Gut wrench, always a great short power suplex. And the Iron, nobody did better than the Iron Sheik, I'll tell you that much. He always usually set up, used as a setup for the camel clutch. But of course, RJ doesn't use the camel clutch, so he's gonna go to other, uh, moves before he actually hits his finishers. They will not be able to handle you. Uh oh man we got okay. man we got some bold words come on Mr. Splash Mikey tonight. Oh man he's gonna run this job of a brand uh wow holy cow job of a brand uh, 
You know what? I, I don't know. You gotta be careful about that. Uh, Rage Tank, will not, even though Rage Tank's not here, he, he won't be happy with that. He's the grand owner of this uh, must-see wrestling empire. Well, you see this brand. Okay. <laughs> All right. And now Hardcore Homer taking it to a, a oh swing around body slam. Uh oh, he says it will be uh, in his hands as you will be begging on your knees, begging for mercy. Wow. Oh my gosh, on your or I should say on your knees, begging for mercy. I take that back. And there's a kick to the back. Homer going for the pin. Even though we've been doing one card a week, we've been trying to give you the best in uh, action here each week. We've been, yeah. Got Paul and Jimmy in your corner, huh? Gotcha. Paul and Jimmy who, sir? May I ask? I don't mean, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't mean it sound, uh, not, it was it, uh, dumb here for a moment, but I guess I'm going to be dumb because I don't know, yeah. And, oh. Naya, too, okay. Wow. Uh oh So Nia Jax is around, okay. That's what it sounds like. And RJ right now going to work. The Warhounds, ooh, uh oh. Oh man, beautiful Michinoku driver and oh. I could have sworn that was three, good God almighty. Stomping away. So that's a stipulation type for Christopher against Crichton. MSW World Title. Christopher wins. Crichton. I mean, our, if he beats Crichton for the world title, he is world champion. He'll be going into Wasteland on the 23rd to face off again. Uh, the weekend of the 23rd to face off against Rubber Morbid to defend that title. But if he loses, two big time stipulations will happen. Christopher will not get a world title shot for 60 days. He won't be able to co he won't be able to compete in a world title match or an opportunity for a world title for 60 days. And if he loses, again, like I said, second stipulation, this is gonna be a worrisome one for uh maybe Christopher and uh Tracy. Tracy will be shaved bald. The Warhounds, huh? Gotcha. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Uh-oh. And oh! Grand Slam. I think that might be it. And he gets to win. Harko Homer. Victorious here. Bloody but victorious. Wow.
That was a great matchup. I, it could have went either way, but it it was uh, basically Homer hitting that grand slam and getting a victory. Homer says he would love to get a shot at Lorenzo because uh, if you did not hear Chaz Foreman right now, it's in a wheelchair. After that, he, uh, I guess he took a brutal beating from Lorenzo the other night. And Lorenzo later on will be in the battle world to decide who will be uh, going against Universal Champion Ronnie Taylor at Wasteland. So we got a message from Splash Mike who's the agent for the new guy, Paul and Jimmy and Naya. But I guess I heard they're calling themselves the Warhounds. It's going to get interesting here. It should. It should. This is the couple last cards before War Wasteland. Ah, coming up next, we got a battle royal here. Winner of this matchup is going to face off against Sarah Perry at Wasteland. Let's take a look at the people who are involved. You got Cheyenne. It's Wonderland. You got Shadow. Susu Chow. Nova. Monica Del Rey. Yorichi. And Serena Deeb. Cheyenne, I wonder what's going on with her. I mean, her mind's been a little rocked as of late. Rumors is she wants to go to Glamourland and uh, wrestle in that Glamour Cup to see if she can uh, win a contract with uh, Sarah Perry and Glamour. I mean, she seems like she's getting frustrated with Yorohara Shoten. And it's true. I mean, I'll tell you what, she Sarah Cheyenne was the hottest thing going on in wrestling. And then all of a sudden she hit that slump and... Uh, it's a shame. I mean, uh, that's how the wrestling, the wrestling sport, the sport, the business sport of professional wrestling goes. All right, folks, let's get this one going. I'll be back and go. Use the facilities real quick. We see nobody's not out, out of there yet, so thank goodness. But uh, right now, a lot of great battles going on here. Looks like Nova taking on uh, Monica Del Rey. The rumor says if Monica Del Rey gets eliminated, the person that eliminates her and doesn't win the Battle Royal can wind up uh, getting a towel shot against her at uh, Wasteland. So who knows? That could be another possible matchup. Oh, we might see Nova go against Del Rey for that Tri American title. I mean, Nova, I know she's looking for a shot in the arm since all that's been happening to her since uh, December. When, uh, unfortunately, uh, Jerry Bennett. Uh, basically uh, lost his life. 
Serena D, the NWA Women's Champion. Great to see her around now, uh, working at Karima at the NWA. Next week, we will have Jericho Wyndham Russell in uh, action against who we don't know yet, but I guess the NWA will pick us out a contender. And right now, Serena Deeb with Wonderland. Over and so is Monica Del Rey. So right now, if Nova or Shell does not win, Shell has a surefire shot to TV Teller Wasteland. And it could be Nova again, they uh, shot Monica Del Rey. Wow. And Serena Team goes night night. The NWA Women's Champion gets sent over by Cheyenne. And right now we got Nova trying to push off. But Shell is not going to have any of it. I know those two have had that problem as of late. And Cheyenne now taking a Susu Chow here, and uh, all right. Nova looking pretty uh, good in this matchup. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. I mean, for somebody's uh, that's been uh, that had a little bit of uh, not so great. Oh, on second thought, that might be the opening that Chow needs. All right. Splash Mikey just told me he'll be right back. And right now, Nova going right in with Cheyenne. The veteran versus the veteran versus still the uh, young up and comer. I mean, uh, she uh, Cheyenne did just about everything here, but it's like, you know, it never hurts to have a few more title reigns in your legacy, most definitely. Some people just call it a day, but not Cheyenne. I mean, she still wants to keep. She loves to throw a competition and. She's loved it at, she's loved it a little too much as a late uh, being emotional about it. And Shell just uh wall Miss Wonderland over the top. Oh man. There's that face buster by Cheyenne, man. I'll tell you that much. Oh! Beautiful standing drop kick and there goes Shadow. It's down to Susu, Nova, and uh, Cheyenne. Oh, and a T-Bone Exploder by uh, Nova, and uh-oh, standing, standing sea fire by Susu. Wow. Oh, this will be a heck of a victory for uh, Nova. She wins this uh, battle Whoa, well, She is coming close. Only Susu stands in her way. Wow. Oh. And there's that resiliency and tenacity in Nova. I'll tell you that much, man. And uh oh. Oh. From halfway up, yeah, she nails it. Oh, man. 
She nailed it. That was beautiful. That was beautiful right there. She knew the range and everything else, and she nailed it. Uh oh, she going for it again? No. Oh, classic knee drop. Shades of Ray. That's Shades of Cripple Ray Stevens right there, folks. I'm going to tell you that much right now. I think she wanted to take her to the rope. Oh, spear her. She's, she's getting it on now. Nova's uh, witnessing a second uh, revival here. All right. I mean, nothing against Susu, but uh, it's a light. Oh, she's going to do it. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Nova against Sarah Perry coming up at uh, Wasteland. You have seen it there, folks. Unbelievable. What a victory. This is Duke Calloway, and you are watching Big Time Wrestling from Hampton, Virginia. Nova, what a heck of a victory. She, this may be the uh, beginning that she needs to get back on track and uh, do that. And now she's got a big time opportunity coming up in Cleveland, Ohio at Wasteland on the two day event, April 23rd and 24th. Get ready for that one, folks. Oh, what's Nick Aldis doing out here? Uh oh. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. The National Treasure. Oh, boy. I wonder what this is all about, man. You wonder. All right, let's get the ring here. And her is Nick Aldis. You know, something, there's some uh, things I'm getting very upset about. But you know what, tonight I'm gonna make a proclamation. I needed to make this proclamation. I shouldn't have made it a long time ago. You know what? Tonight, I quit the main event mafia. I feel that Sting, Samoa Joe, and Bobby Lashley are holding me back. You fans forgot who the hell I am. I am the national treasure, Nick Aldis. I am the longest reigning NWA world champion there was recently. And I'm the one that keeps prestige in a title. And you know what? I'm going to start climbing back to the top. Because I'm going to grab... What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the one thing that... Jer that jerk Jericho Wyndham has. And that's my s sweet 10 pounds of Charlotte. And I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, you know what, Jericho? You better be watching, you blonde bomber. Because I will make that blonde hair crimson red. After I get done with you. Oh, wait a second. Loot's coming to the ring right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Is that who I think it is? Oh, it's Sting. Uh-oh. You know what? I think he's not going to be too happy with this. I wonder what he's got to say. Oh, boy. I think we might be ready for some fireworks there tonight, folks. You know, so in Nick, you're starting up on one of your ego trips, aren't you? I mean, yes, you are the national treasure. Yes, you you are uh, you were the longest reigning NWA champion. But you know who whose skills got you there? You know who trained you? Myself, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle. And you know what? Now you're you're gonna be a pompous little pansy. Sting, let me tell you something right now. You're too old to be in the business. I'll tell you what. You want me to, you want me to uh, show it to you? Why don't you bring your buddy Lashley, and I'll bring anybody I can find in the locker room. We'll have sort of such a little tag team dance. How about that? Why don't you bring Chaz Foreman along? Oh, you're funny, man, because you know what? I heard Chaz Foreman's in a wheelchair right now. I'm not able to wrestle for a while because of his injuries being so brutal in that symbol wasteland title match. And you know what? Well wishes, Chaz. Let me tell you that much right now before I go go on my rant against this little crumpet here. Crumpet? Let me tell you something about let me tell you something about that sting. You're an old crumpet. You're an old biscuit. That's what you are. You are a dog biscuit, Sting. And tonight, I will decimate you and your little prodigy, Bobby Lashley, with whatever partner I can find. All right, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll go back, I'll go get Bobby Lashley, and uh, we'll have our match later on tonight. How about that? You know, it was nice having you here in the main event, Mafia, but it seems like you couldn't take the frustration. You weren't patient. You weren't... Uh, very gentleman like about it. But of course I've seen some of your actions in NWA. You are not like you are not like gentleman like. Hey, what goes on the NWA is none of your business. You're not even there right now to even prevent that. What's going on with me and Camille and Latimer and Mr. Adonis? You better remember that, Stinger. You better remember that. Because uh, I'll I'll make you remember if you don't, boy, sir. Ah, oh, you're going to make me remember it all. Just remember, uh, that's right. You know what? Yeah, you did get me the last time in TNA. What am I talking about? But you know what? This is a whole new ball game here in Musty Wrestling. Number one, we have no corrupt executives here, basically. They hand you victories on the platter. We got pure old-fashioned wrestling, which sells a grudge any day of the week. Well, you know what? That's where you're wrong. I don't need. I don't need a. I don't need this. I don't need those skill. I don't need those kind of people. Okay. Oh man. I think we're seeing the main event mafia might be imploding here. Good God Almighty. And all this now grabbing Sting. Oh. Oh and a. Oh man. Are you kidding me? All this taking his frustrations out on Sting. I'm. I'm shocked. Oh, he handles him in the back, and now all this just going to work here. Oh, man, what a chop. I heard that from downtown to downtown. Over the top, and uh oh. St I don't know. Sting is coming out there, but uh oh. All this uh, uh, just blow off some steam. Wow. I'll tell you what, man. That should be interesting. So Sting and Bobby Lashley going against all this and a partner 
of his choice later on tonight. Oh, not much, Takamoto. How you doing, sir? Yeah. Coming up next, one more time, Morbid against Brimstone. And uh, the stipulations has changed. Tonight's matchup, whoever hits their finisher first wins the match. So that means whoever hits their uh, finisher will win the match. No pinfall needed. So if your opponent gets, tries to get their finisher on you, you better try to block that damn thing as much as possible because if you don't, you lose the match automatically. We see matches like this happen, and uh, they're very tough. I'm good tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Harold. Yeah, got a full house here tonight. We just, if you do, we're just going over things. We've seen a whole hardcore homer defeat RJ Lucas. And then we just watched Nova win an eight woman battle royal to challenge Sarah Perry at Wasteland coming up on the weekend of 23rd and 24th. And then we watched Nick Aldis attack Sting after he quit the main event mafia. But this matchup is going to be uh, interesting. Who's going to be the first one to hit the finisher and uh, win the match? That's all that's got to happen. Win with finisher. It's not win by knockout, win by, win by pinfall, DQ, or countout. It's win by finisher. And there is the very frustrated Alex Brimstone. I mean, I, I recently interviewed him, and he is angry with Morbid. I don't know what brought this on. I, I don't know. It is time? Oh, okay. Uh oh, time for what, sir? Splash Mikey says it is time. And there is Robert Morbid right there with the uh, Great Lakes title. This is gonna be. This should be a good matchup. But it's gonna be with tough stipulations. Who is uh? Ah, gotcha. Oh. Oh my. Oh wait a minute, what, what the heck is this? I got Paul Heyman. Wow, oh, hello there, uh, Duke. Dukey, right? Yes, Paul Heyman, what do you want? I just came to tell you about my newest Recruit, I'm the beer you bring here in the Musty Rusty. Yeah. And you got Jimmy Uso running around with you? You got Jimmy Uso running around you? Yeah, I mean, he's he's uh, an apprentice. He's a student of the game. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man. My gosh. You got big Alex Brimstone right here. I'm hoping this guy can get back on track because he is a fine talent. Going against Reverend Fat Boy right here. That's Reverend Morbid. Well, I'm gonna call him Reverend Fat Boy. Look at him. Look at him. This guy doesn't even have a chisel build. Good God Almighty. 
All right, uh, that's like the, uh, you watch it. I will knock you, I will knock your dentures out of your mouth, Duke. You understand? Okay, wow. Just get to the match, will ya? Just call the match. I'll see you later. Bye! Wow. Paul Heyman? What the heck? He's gonna knock my uh, dentures out of my mouth. Good God Almighty. Remember, remember, beware the warhounds. The warhounds, good God. Good God, if he's running them, then that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be scary. Heyman is, has an eye for talent. Good God Almighty. You know what, things are probably, are, are really starting to pick up at all, Brimstone a bit. So, Harold, what do you think about the match between Sarah Perry and Nova coming up at Wasteland? As Nova won the eight woman battle roll, decided who's going to wrestle Sarah Perry next. I just thought I'd get that question to you because I know you're a fan of both of those girls. Both of those ladies, I should say. I'm sorry. Oh, no. What's Heyman doing back here? Come on, man. I'm just here to watch the match. Can I just watch the match? Huh? I just want to, you know... Perry will always do what she always done, and I, you know, I agree with Harold. Sarah Perry's a fine-looking uh, woman and athlete. She has a double, double duty. I mean, she's got that double whammy that she puts on opponents. And look at Brimstone nailing away at this. Uh, so this is the world title contender for Wasteland. Give me a freaking break. The grand opening of Glamour Warren Land will not be spoiled by anyone. I, you know what I better believe? You better believe I bought my tickets for it. You're going to Glamour Land? Yeah. Tell you what. And look at Brimstone just stomping away at this poor so-called world title contender. Huh? That's not a prediction, that's a spoiler. I, I agree with you, Harold. I agree with you, sir. May I call you Harold? Or do I call you Mr. Takamoto? If you want me to call you Mr. Takamoto, I'll be glad to call you that. Not a problem. There you go. He's got the victory. And that's it. Alex, look at that, man. Morbid, Morbid just lost all his momentum going to that world title match, no matter what it is. Uh, all right, Mr. Heyman, before you leave, or uh, something like that. Sure. You want to ask me a question? What do you want to ask me? Who do you think is going to win the match today in the main event? You know what? I like to see Corey Crichton win. You know? I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, ball Tracy around the area. No doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, that's the tricky thing about these first person get a finisher wins the match. I mean, that's it. You can't get out of the finisher. Good night. That's kind of like the days when Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar would have been a master of those matches. Because nobody never got all his freaking F5. No doubt about it. Congratulations, Alex. Call me if you want a real manager in your corner, man. I'll talk to you later. And I'll talk to you later, Dookie. Okay, Heyman.
Wow. You just heard right there the, the round mound of sound himself, Paul Heyman. And I mean that in a good sense. And coming up next, we got that tag team match coming up. Sting and Lashley. A, oh, good God. Nick Aldis went and got Mr. Anderson? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, this is going to be interesting. The National Treasure and the uh, the A hole, as I'll call it, since I don't get I don't get fined by the FCC, going against the Icon and the Dominator. So Heyman is back here again causing trouble. Good God almighty. <laughs> I like Takamoto's response. Ken Anderson, yawn. <laughs> no, Ken, you know what? I gotta admit, Ken Anderson's good, but problem one is, is that he flops at the jaws a little too much. I'll admit to it. Hey, I'll admit I like him in the book because he uh, did the order when he got fired by uh, WWE. And you know what? Hey. Some people need to learn the school of hard knocks, and uh, Anderson was just teaching them uh, the school of hard knocks. I'll put it that way. And it's sad, too, because I thought they lost on a great talent, Anderson. I mean, no doubt about it. I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll say about it, is. I mean, there may be people just screaming on me, but uh, Anderson's a pretty capable wrestler. Uh, don't let him hear you saying that, I heard. I mean, God knows. I mean, you know, it's like, who knows? Maybe Anderson might appear at 3 o'clock in the morning at your uh, doorstep when uh, ba uh bash you in with uh, a pipe or something. He's good for doing that. But here is Nick Aldis. Yeah. So in his phone tonight, basically he gave a big old middle finger to the main event mafia. He's done with them. You'll say his name three times in the mirror at midnight? Uh-oh. He isn't scared, uh-oh. Maybe I'll we'll, maybe we'll have to talk, maybe, you know, it'd be fun. Maybe I'll we'll have to sign Harold to, uh, maybe I'll we'll have to sign Harold to a contract. You know, that would be a great idea. I wouldn't mind seeing him in the Federation. <laughs> I mean, the way that 2020 was one hell of a whirlwind year for us last year with uh, K returning due to concussion and uh, Bennett getting uh, knocked off and uh, all that stuff going on. But I'm pretty sure, but I'm, pretty sure I'm going to say something that's going to be happy in Takamoto's uh, and not uh, Takamoto's ears. Creighton is still around. And this year has been a very good year for him because he's done something that he's wanted to do for the first time is that hold the IWGP title and the MSW World title at the same time. And if we can ever get our hands on a video tape from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and yes, Creighton did defeat Will Osprey to keep that title. I mean, great, I'll tell you what, him and his wife's been getting some frequent flyer miles with his, with his two titles. Rumor says he wants to add more to that. And right now, Rutherford trying to break up Sting and all this, and there's probably some bad blood from that promo. And Sting with a clothesline. 
to National Treasure. We'll see if Aldis' investment of Mr. Anderson will pay off for him uh, if he can defeat Sting and Lashley. I tell you what, from what I know, Lashley has taken a role re right, uh, liking and respect to Sting, basically, since uh, Sting offered uh, his invitation to, offered an invitation to Lashley in the uh, main event mafia. No, I have not yet. I'm gonna have to check it. Yeah, hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Clayton will bring it back there. Uh, you know what I have seen on YouTube video? Yes, I have. Beautiful. Yeah, because uh, I know that belt was made after they uh, was it Abushi uh, when he was a champ uh, unified both the world and the Intercontinental belts. So now even uh, Abushi has the Intercontinental title either. And speaking of new titles, I heard in New Japan Strong right now, they have, they're going to have an open weight title beside the uh, winner of the uh, New Japan uh, Cup there in the USA. Yeah, it is definitely cool. Now that you said it, I did see it. And Anderson, uh-oh, leg break with DDT. And that... And that's going to be a sting. And right now, Sting in the corner. Oh, Anderson in the clothesline. All this did say, uh, yeah, I'll just make sure to get out of the way on that one. I wonder if the question is if Anderson helps all this win this tag team match, could Anderson be possibly a member, a future member of Strictly Business and, uh, and must see wrestling? Who knows? I wouldn't be surprised if I see him uh, try to conduct his own uh, strictly business here in must see wrestling. I know it's been an interesting show here so far. You got Nova. Oh, an Indian Deathlock on Sting. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's nasty. You know Sting has bad knees. We all remember the infamous 1990 knee injury he had. And uh, he got, when I guess he had, uh, he got, he got draped over the uh, cage wall there at Clash of the Champions that one year in January 1990. That kept him out of Sting six months. But you know, it did not slow this guy's career down one damn bit because he would manage to win, win a slew of world titles around the world and everywhere, basically. And Sting right now has his... Oh, and there's the Stinger splash. And Anderson not looking like a great investment for uh, Aldis. Oh, man. Scorpion death drop. I think uh, Aldis may want his money back. No, but Anderson kicks out. Wow. And now it tags in Bobby Lashley. And now we're going to see the uh, Dominator in control here. The current WWE World Champion. You know what? You know what would happen if Hell froze over? You know what would happen when Hell froze over? Is when the WWE would decide to defend their titles here and mostly wrestling. Definitely classic. Now look at uh, Lashley telling the fans, "Is like, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna make sure this fool uh, regrets getting in the ring with me." And I went down. Oh. What a spine buster by, what a slam by Lashley, and oh, he's making Anderson hurt all over. Good God almighty. Oh, but Anderson flips him over. And close lines him over the top. Now look at Anderson arguing with that fan at ringside. 
typical Ken Anderson, I swear, man. Throws him back in. And here we go. Close line in the corner once again. Anderson once again on Lashley. I wonder if Lashley's still feeling the effects of that match with Bomber. That's the thing I want to know. That could be possible, man. I don't doubt it. Never say never. I mean, uh, there are matches that can linger on you for quite a while. Good and bad. And Lashley kicks out there now. Oh, look at the power. Oh. Turns that around a friggin' slam. Good strategy by Lashley. He drags uh, all the he drags Anderson over there so all this has a long way to break up the pen. Very good strategy, and yeah, you are you are chiseled, man. Yeah, you are impressive, my friend. Gotta keep an eye on Anderson because Anderson's one of those guys that can uh, easily recover quickly and catch you when you're not you're not paying attention. And okay, technical difficulty. Gotta love it. Uh oh. Oh man, he uh, rolls them all. Pulls him over the spear. And right now, uh oh, he's going to take all this down. The question is now, since the Mafia is a threesome, is, uh, are, is, uh, are they going to try to get another member in the group? I guess only time can tell. And Anderson in a look, in a world, way, way of trouble. We're going to see some double team by Sting and Lashley. Oh, man. Beautiful double elbow. By the, by the WWE World Champion, the former multi-world champion, Sting. Oh, what a neck breaker. Somebody asked me, who was the favorite Blade Runner you liked, dude? Was it Sting or Ultimate Warrior? Now, you know what? Nothing against Ultimate Warrior, and all, with all due respect, but uh, Sting is just an incredible, consistent athlete. No doubt about it. And right now, Lashley, oh! That would have made uh, all the Power Slam Masters proud, and that's it. Lashley pins Anderson, and the main event Mafia looks really damn good here tonight. Gotta give it up to him. Wow. That was a really good matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. I thought Anderson was going to pull up and be the wild card that wins it, but he's the wild card that gets pinned tonight. It may have been Aldis who fired the first shots at Sting, but you know what? In the end, Sting got the last laugh. And what a beautiful spear by Lashley. You know, that, that was one of the highlights of the match that helped uh, Sting and Lashley win that match when he nailed that spear on uh, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Anderson was a great choice, boy, you know. <laughs> yeah. I didn't, you know what, you're probably thinking he would have been better off with maybe Tom Larimer or Chris Adonis. Who knows? But I wonder what the heck were those two at tonight. I mean, okay, they don't have quite, um, contracts with must-see wrestling, but you know what? 
They could have been brought in. I wouldn't doubt it. And coming up next, we got the eight-man battle royal. Now, what this eight-man battle royal is going to decide is that who is going to win. The winner of this match gets a face-off against Ronnie Taylor at Wasteland for the Universal title. So let's go over the names of the people who are involved. This is based on uh, records and effort. Yeah, got Blue Arrow, who recently... Uh, was Tri American champion. You got Kyle Bennett, who's a wild card in this group. You got Adam Strange, who's the current Tri American champion. Warchild, who's the TV champ. You got Lorenzo, who's the current Simo Wasteland champion. You got Grit, who is the current Pot of Gold holder. Brad Obama, who was the former TV champion before losing to Wolfchild. And Meacher, who is the former Tri American champion. So this. Bell Royal is star studded. Much to say. Still to come tonight. Christopher against Crichton for the MSW World Title. Remember stipulations. Christopher wins. He gets to be the defending world champion going into Wasteland against Morbid. Christopher loses. Number one, Christopher does not get a world title shot for 60 days. He can have a title shot at any other title, but not at the MSW world title. And uh, here's the main killer right here. Tracy Torment will get her head, will get her head shaved. Let's get the ring right now, folks. They're all in the ring right now. Here we go. Lorenzo grabbing Meacher. Strange going after Bomber. Now the rumors I keep hearing about if Aaron Meacher and uh, Strange does not win this battle well. Big time rumor we heard there might be a battle war. There might be a three-way dance going on for the Tri-American title down the road between these three. What a crumpet, I gotta agree with that, Harold. You know what? Yeah. I guess uh all this is investment, that's gonna make him more angry. That's gonna make Tricky Nick more angry than basically, you know. And right now, Meech is gonna try to get rid of Lorenzo here. folks. Threat's got Bennett in trouble. Uh oh, Wilcho's got Meacher and uh, oh man. Beautiful Michinoku driver by Wolfchild. The TV champ there, folks. But there's going to be a slew of stipulations in there. I mean, if somebody eliminates Lorenzo, they can wind up getting the next house sh shot at the Civil Wasteland house. Somebody eliminates Wolfchild, they can wind up getting a shot at the TV title. So every option is open in this matchup. Let's call it what it is. A suplex by uh, Lorenzo and Kyle Bennett. Holy cow. And I think Blue Rose just said Sayonara for tonight. Wow. And 
Rochelle uh, saving uh, Adam Strange from Mitra, I guess, inadvertently, because I'm pretty sure in the battle world the objective is uh, every man for yourself. Well, fellas, we're going to ruin this company, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah what was it? I'll tell you what. Unbelievable. I just got an info from Heyman earlier in this broadcast. And now we got partners going out. We're telling Lorenzo. Are you kidding me? We'll see if it's a Warhound show. I mean, uh, yeah, basically, I, I know you guys are going to be here, but I'm pretty sure be like, there might be some of the faithful defending the honor of MSW. Arrow is gone right now. He's the only one that's gone. All the other seven are in here. Like I said, remember, winner gets a shot at uh, Ronnie Taylor's Universal Title at Wasteland. And this is where it seems Wilcha and Lorenzo go at. Are you, are you kidding me? This is really awkward and weird. You forgot who's gonna get what title? Well, you better, you better, you better earn your shots. And uh, oh man, and wo wow! And Lorenzo gets sent over Percy and Wolfchild. Wow! You know where you gonna figure out what title you're gonna get? It's like if you can, if you get a match and win them. Oh, I like these I like these managers who say they're gonna take it take over and everything. It's like yeah, there's some people that have temporary power. I'll admit. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out, uh What the heck? I just heard something in the back. I heard that Bobby Lashley just attacked Sting. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. And he signed up with Heyman? What the heck? What is going on here? Yeah, the main event of Bobby is definitely imploding. Are you kidding me? Wow. Stuff there? Wow, uh, so you, so, so you want to take what you want, okay, uh, you want to do it the real honorable way, okay, gotcha. Uh-oh. I'll have to check it out and see what's, uh, we'll see if we can get something going here next week then.
And I guess MSW management is asking the Warhounds group who are going to be their three. And Rocho, Meacher, and Bomber the foul three. Wow. Bomber's got Wolfchild, man. What revenge would this be for Bomber if he eliminates Wolfchild from the battle royal and costs him an opportunity to go after Universal title at a wasteland? I mean, that would be uh, that would be some revenge for the Bomber. I think if I'm correct, the Bomber's another one of uh, Takamoto's favorites, if I'm correct, too. I know he's been giving a lot of praise to the Bomber and Beecher. Gonna try to lift up the bomber. It's gonna try to get uh, get the uh, massive bomber over, and oh, he does! Wow! Oh man! Oh! Oh! Meet your effect! Oh my God, man! Major Meacher gets rid of Wolfchild. And you know what? Blanchard is licking his chops at this right now. And meet you right now, grabbing Wolchow. He, oh, we look at him lifting him up easily. This shows you how much strength this kid's got. Shows you how much strength Wolchow's got to res resist the uh, being thrown out. Oh, look at it. Uh, Wolchow smacks Meacher behind the head to, to let him loosen his grip, and oh. Oh, what a backbreaker. Holy cow. What a backbreaker by Meacher. Oh, man, and uh, Wichel almost uh, went over. I got a feeling, uh, And uh, look at Wolchon trying to get the big guy over, and he's coming close, man. But Meacher with a couple big stiff elbows. And there's a knee drop right there, classic Rick Flair style. Knee drop by Wolfchild, and uh, there's another one. Right across the chest. Oh, 
Mentioned no crew driver right there by Wolchild. Man. He's setting up where he's going for here, folks. Oh, Kinshasa. Oh, my God, Kinshasa. Tim, thank you. And Wilchow wins. He is going to uh, Wasteland to go against Ronnie Taylor. Wow. And there you go, folks. You just saw right there, folks. Wolchild's going to get an opportunity at uh, Taylor for the Universal title at uh, Wasteland. Wasteland's look like it's shaping up to be a pretty damn good card for some of the matches going on here. I'll tell you how much right now. All right, coming up next, we got... Sakura Miura take on Jerry Missile in a rematch for the Universal title. And, oh, Green Meanie. Uh-oh. One half of Tri-American Champions and uh, going to be going against uh, the Darkness. Him and Yoroha is going to be going against the Darkness soon for the MSW Tag Team titles. I don't know. That may happen at Wasteland if it doesn't happen next week. And... Okay, what the heck? Sorry, guys, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, I don't know who, to, I don't know who to decide to take a dump on me on this one. I don't know if it, it was 2K or what. And I was praising them they were better, so much better than 2K20. 20, 20, I guess I was wrong. You piece of crap. Oh, my gosh. You gotta be kidding me, man. Holy hell in a handbasket. That's all I'm going to say. Come on, I got a show to uh, finish up here. Uh, dang uh, loading crap. So it was a green meanie's fault. You know what? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. All right, man, let's get this going here. Hopefully it doesn't take a crap on me. Okay, the green meanie cursed my thing. Well, you know what? It's, Lor it's Lorenzo's fault. Because Lorenzo was the one that brought the green meanie in in the first place. Gotta blame on Lorenzo, man. Wait till I tell him.
MSW on Peacock here? What the hell? Uh, no, you know what? Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, we're not going to go that path. It seems they all, they all want to cut up their stuff right now, basically, and everything. It's like, okay. And I won't even go in that and I won't even go in that mess right now, basically. I was thinking about getting almost like uh you but you know what? I'm not I'm not I don't you know I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go with it. Nah. I would rather buy Honor Club or uh NWA power for that sense. Hey everybody, uh, it's so great to be here. So great to be relevant again in the tag team division. I mean, me and Kasuki is excited. We're getting ready for our upcoming title match against the Darkness, a team that got us in uh, our first world title match when we tried defending the titles. You know what, I gotta give Bauer and Priest a lot of credit. They are awesome, man. And I'll tell you that much. But you know what? It's up to us now. We're the ones that have something to prove right now, the Bauer and Priest. We want those titles back, man. And we do want them. What nobody else understands is that it was a great day when me and Yurohara managed to win those titles. I mean, God, you know what? It, it was just happiness, man. I was happy. He was happy. Yorichi was happy. Sakura was happy. And you know what? We we didn't lose any happiness, but we want some. We want that happiness to come back again with the uh, titles, if you know what I mean. And here comes Marvelous Marl. What the heck is he doing out here? I don't understand. So Harold is saying, give us a shoot interview? Maybe one of these days. You never know, man. I may just let all the secrets out once uh, MSW is no longer in business. But of course, I got to make sure I'm still living. May all right, I'll start jotting down my notes and give them somebody to publish. I am up there, you know. Well, 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 if it isn't a blue meanie, huh? Yeah, you look you look skinnier than your ECW days, I'll tell you that much right now, I mean. But you know what, I got some news to put on you, buddy. I got some news. Oh, wait a minute, meanie, how come your hair is green? Did you put some yellow in your blue hair and uh, decided to uh, dye it green? Ha uh ha, -huh, funny, funny, Merle. You smart, you smart aleck. You always been a smart aleck, haven't you? Is that the reason? Is that the reason why you uh, never succeeded real well in the world wrestling? What you, I heard you have a prize for us. Wow. You know, it would've been cool maybe hang around with Stevie Richards and Nova, but you know what? You got me mixed up with somebody else. I meant that as sarcasm, you dummy. You, you, you imbecile. Now, here's my announcement. Bad news. You may have to wait for your title shot at Wasteland because guess what? Next week, me and Fisher get a rematch against the Darkness. That's right. It will be me and uh, Fisher against the Darkness for the MSW Tag Team titles. Oh, great. So that means we have to, me have to go against the Imbecile 2 at uh, Wasteland if you guys somehow find a way to win the titles. Wow. That would suck for us because we're looking to prove ourselves against Priest and Bauer. But now you guys, you guys got to hog up the spotlight, steal everything else from everybody, and try to be those champions, huh? Well, let me tell you something right now, Mr. Yellow and Blue make green meanie. I'll tell you what, uh, yes, we have a right since we are the former champions. And you know what? Uh, you know what? I'd be careful. I was you. I know there's a couple of Doughboys in the back that want you to, uh, in the form of Williams and Gordy. 
And I'll tell you what, and I call them dough bugs because I can't stand those guys either. See, that's, you know what, you're stupid for saying that because Williams and Gordy deserve the utmost credit, the utmost respect in the business because they are one of the most awesome tag teams in the world. And for us, to score the first knockout before they did was incredible. I was impressed with it. And you know what? I know one of these days we'll have to go against them when we've got champions. Oh, when you become champions? Wait a minute. This is right here, yellow and blue will make green meanie. We will become the champions first, and then we'll retain them against your stupid tails at Wasteland. And then we'll kidnap your old girlfriends and have fun with them on a flight, on a, on a, on a plane we got. You crud. You do not mess around with Sakura, you understand? God help you, you mess around with Sakura. I'll tell you that much right now. You do? I will put my hands around your throat, and I will strangle you. I will make sure you get wiped off the face of the earth. Let me tell you that much right now. <sighs> idle threats, idle threats. Idle threats, Moody, that's what you are, It's idle threats. You know what, when you're the marvelous one, nobody is not superior to you. You better remember that. Everyone is inferior. And that includes you and Carradine and Bauer and Priest and Williams and Gordy and everybody else. You better remember that. Now, you know what, I got to get going here. I'll talk to you later, Rob. You know what? Take care, yellow and blue make green me. Yellow and blue make green me? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, Harold likes it. Harold, Harold liked it, so there you go. I mean, uh, you know what? Hey, that, you know, anytime you get fair, you get a hurl in your corner, that's one, that, that's one uh, major vote right there. <laughs> Great, I had uh, Warhounds threatening me and Whisper on Twitch right now, saying that uh, I guess they're telling they're telling us that if we don't join, we're gonna we're gonna die like the rest of the roster here. Great, aren't you guys wonderful? You pick out an old man like myself. Great, great, great. Well, come up next, we got Jerry Missile against Sakura Miura. Better match for the uh, Universal title, folks. Yellow and blue and rain green, that kind of reminds me from a sandwich bag commercial. <laughs> oh my gosh. Merle is arrogant, but I'll give him his credit when he want when I want to, definitely. Warhounds more like boar hounds. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's only like, uh I think they might yeah, they sound like they're taking on taking a page from the NWO's book. I don't I don't know what we'll to see what kind of impact this team makes. I cannot believe Lashley has joined along with Heyman. Right now Sting was getting tended by some medics. Here we go, folks. Let's get the ring for this one. Sakura Miero versus Jerry Missile. Ladder match. Should be a good one.
And there is Jerry Missile right there. Another one of the uh, many female superstars we have here in Must See Wrestling. And of course, the senior member of the Vixens Club that's run by uh, Tracy Torment. Which also includes Monica Del Rey and Melody Torment. She is looking to get back her universal title that she's held for uh, three months, basically, ever since beating Nolan for that title. And she's uh, nailed a whole bunch of uh, strong uh, toe defenses under that belt. I gotta give her credit. Jerry Missile was, besides Sarah Perry, if you weren't Sarah Perry, you were Jerry Missile. I mean, Jerry Missile was a, uh, was a big threat in the women's division. And here comes some Sakura Miura, and of course, everybody's wondering probably uh, why she doesn't have the belt with her. Well, guess what? Yeah, it's up on the ladder, above the ring. I should say not on a ladder, but above the ring, where you gotta use the ladder to climb up and grab it. That's the object of this next matchup. And Carlos Marvelous Merle making some remarks about Sakura tonight. Uh, basically, that got under the meanie skin. So now I'm getting thrown by uh, Warhounds. Wonderful. All I'll just do is call the action. I'm not. I'm an. I'm just an employee here. There we go, folks. And Joe oh, and Sakura starting off with the kicks. Wow. Oh, blocks the double double chop. Wow. There you go. Beautiful. And double chicken wing suplex. Oh man, that was nasty. a great match up here between uh, somebody that wants the title back and somebody that wants to keep that title. And Now Jerry Miss will take it to uh, Sakura Miura. And I'll be back and go use the facilities once again. This match continues.
All right, right now we got Sakura Miura. Going out with Jerry, still going out with Jerry Muscle. Looks like, uh, I don't know if anybody, I don't think anybody, no, it looks like it, somebody brought the ladder in, but I don't think anybody made an attempt at it yet. As now, here goes Sakura, she's going to make the first attempt. Here we go. And right now, Jerry Missile better get up there. She does not want to see her title match, or title opportunity uh, slip, man. For that match. Oh, man, and uh, it's been all broken up here. Wow. Going for it again, and all. Oh, push it out the chair. Push it out the ladder once again, man. And right now, Jerry Missile taking that leg, and good strategy. Basically, uh, you take out the knees, you won't be able to climb the ladder really well. Right now, Jerry Missile has the champion in a hell of a lot of trouble. Holy cow. I'll tell you how much right now. And now they're fighting at it. Wow. Oh, man. That may be the ring dinger right there, folks. I forgot to use that word. That's, yeah, ring dinger. And uh-oh. And Sakura Miura will retain the title. Wow. There you go. And there she is, folks, still your Universal Women's Champion, Sakura Miura. Wow. Folks, stay tuned. Guess what? The big matchup. Corey Crichton. Uh, yeah, Tracy Tormund is not allowed ringside. This is no disqualification. No count out.
Here we go, folks. Time to get this match going. Now or never for Christopher. For 60 days if he doesn't win it. And here comes Corey Crichton. The world champion. Like I said, now or never, man. Should be a great matchup, I'll tell you that much. And Crichton backs up Christopher in the corner. Tonics were trying to walk out of hospital, but he's still a little weak right now, I guess. Uh, wow. Right now, Crichton, uh, oh, but Christopher grabs him. Oh, man. Remember, Christopher loses. No real tall shot for 30, uh, 60 days. And Tracy gets shaved bald. That's what's going to happen. Crichton loses. That means only Christopher just become is the world champion going into wasteland against more of it. I mean, I mean, could you imagine by the end of the night we could see Crichton and, I mean, we could see Christopher and Tracy, Mr. and Mrs. Chrome Dome by the end of the night. And that can happen. I wouldn't mind seeing it after all the stuff Tracy's been doing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I mean, Tracy has been nothing but a thorn inside of uh, not only uh, Chaz Foreman, but also Viper and uh, Star Angel, uh, the daughter that's out of action right now. She's uh, on maternity leave. Adam Strange, she's also been a pain in the neck too, and I think she's also been getting the idle threats to Carla. I mean, what a vengeful woman that Tracy... Uh, Torment, how this is. Oh, man. 
Christopher is getting close right now. Uh, Christopher's going to battle. If Creighton nails that kick, this could be it. And also the bats, too. I mean, Christopher is beat down on Chris, and then, of course, she had uh, Tracy uh, trying to uh, smack Jade around a little bit, but uh, Jade is all right, thank goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Creighton cone in midair. My gosh. But no break. Yeah, that was awesome. You're believing. Oh. And Christopher, I'll tell you what, he has taken a. Oh, wait a minute. There is a little life in Christopher. This is just a. Oh, man. There's a one legged code breaker. Oh, missed the clothesline. That could be vital. Oh, man, and there's a Russian leg sweep. Big rumors that kept him by the wall in the wall. Not only Kenny Omega wants to challenge Crichton, but there's another big name that showed up in the uh, contender stakings. Walter. Walter has been heard making calls to MSW to see if he can get a world title shot against Crichton. Says Crichton says he put the title on the line against anybody. Because I think if he gets his title shot, he, shot, he might have to wait until after Wasteland if Crichton does have the title. <coughs> and now Christopher looking over at left knee and good strategy by the guy in pink. If you take out Clayton's knee, that means he won't be able to do the super kick. Two million of dollars on Corey if he wins. Oh my gosh. Somebody's got a real gambling problem. Right now, Christopher may have that knee weak in a quarry. So I think that is the leg he uses to nail that kick on uh, his opponents. And right now, oh, man, ow. And Clayton feeling that knee right now. Oh, my gosh, man. Oh, man, and uh, oh, he, big mistake. He let Clayton, he let Clayton relax, and Clayton got a kick and a DDT out. Stomping on the arm and on the guy in pink. Oh, Clayton code again. Good God. And Clayton should be going for the pin instead, I gotta admit. Bad mistake on the champ's part. Yeah, he should have went for the pin as uh, Christopher was able to kick out of it. Christopher's face is then turning into a nice shade of crimson red. Oh my God. Oh, man. He got it. Oh, boy, they're going to go get caught. Tracy in the back, folks. Torment is going to get her error. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and it does not rust up for Corey. Davy Boy is just cashed in the briefcase. Are you kidding me? Well, this makes history right there because... Davy Boy is going to be the last big time opportunity briefcase holder. Yeah. Who would expect this to happen? Well, of course, I guess Davy Boy Smith Jr., who's been uh, who was at the Hall of Fame uh, ceremonies uh, a couple of nights ago, uh, inducting his father in the uh, WWE Hall of Fame. I guess uh, he's uh, he's uh, really sped up on inspiration right now. I'm actually surprised, wow. 
But right now I keep hearing in the back that people are grabbing Tracy in the back as they're taking her to the personal bar, uh, the, the personal barber. She is going to get her head shaved. That's not going to be good for Tracy Torment. Oh, man. What can you say? But that was a beautiful move that Clayton beat Christopher. Oh! And Clayton is a house of fire right now. Oh! And the fans are up on their feet for Clayton. Chris Bat at home happy? Yeah, I bet he would be. Don't worry, I guess next week we'll see what Tracy looks like bald. Oh, and Davey Boy catches him. Wow. One good counter deserves another, I guess. And Davey Boy with that, uh, Hooking that uh, claw, shoulder claw, and that pinching that nerve. Now, Davy Boy just got dinged on his head from a hangman's deed to by Boykin. Oh man, knee right to the head. Oh, man, what a show by Davy Boy. The power of Davy Boy Smith Jr. Just unbelievable. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, Davy Boy takes advantage. Throws him in the corner. And, oh, gets met on by Noble. Another Clayton code. Clayton looking really superior here tonight. Holy cow, Clayton gets a red number one. Wow. Mr. Sister, uh, Mystery Sister Melody talking, talking in the backstage. Oh my gosh! Oh man, there's that code breaker right there in midair by Clayton, and another code breaker on Davy Boy. There's the kick. It's still going to be Clayton morbid at our warfare. I mean, not warfare, wasteland. Wow. Creighton has done it here, folks. Now he retains the title once, but twice. Congratulations, Corey. You have done that title proud tonight. What else can you say? Unbelievable. Well, folks, I'd like to thank you for joining us here tonight. Uh... My name is Duke Callaway, and I hope you all have a good night, and uh, see you uh, next week. Take care, everybody.